Good morning children. Well, it's a wonderful morning. Today, let's learn to write. Writing is an art which is developed through practice. So, let's learn to do the right thing at the right time. And let me tell you, this is your right time. Kids around 3 and a half to 4 years old try to see their parents writing and they too love to write. They start to scribble on the wall and do many naughty things. Well, it's the parents' duty to teach them the right thing to do. Well, give them a pencil, give them a book, let them scribble on it. Give them some colors. Crayons are ideal for these. It's always nice to use a table and a chair to write. Here is a clip which will show the practice before writing. Let's do some exercise for our fingers. Okay, now we need to use these two fingers. This is your, <clears throat> this is your thumb and this is your index. So, we need these two fingers to hold it tight. So, how do we exercise this? Let's use some pegs. We otherwise call it cloth pen. See? Parents, Please provide these to help your children have grip on their fingers. Practice this till you feel you can hold a pencil. See when you keep your fingers like this, insert the pencil in between. See that it comes to this end. Don't keep it like this. Don't keep it somewhere here but in the front. It shouldn't come in the front too front also. You see, there's a line over here, the pencil mark. So you keep it over here, right? And then what you do, see if the pencil is moving. Can you see? Yes, that means your fingers are holding it tight. If you don't hold your pencil tight, it will fall. So you need to hold it tight. When you hold it tight, initially some parents, they use a rubber band. like this this could this could hurt but it would help the child to hold so the third finger that's the middle finger goes underneath you see it goes underneath and you can see the right position just for a few seconds and then remove it so that the child would feel free while writing now your pencil is tight Yes, it is. These are some chickpeas that I have in my kitchen. I will use this to help the kid to have grip. Pick one chickpea and keep it on you. Okay, take another one. Okay, take. Help your child to do this as regularly as he could or she could. By doing this, it will help the child to pick things one by one at a time and arrange it in a sequence. That's it. Hold it upside down. And draw. See? Like this. Okay. Draw once again. Yes. Good. Draw a circle. Wow. Nice circle. Help your child to practice them like this. This is a four lined book. The first one is red color. The second and third are blue and the fourth one is red. Usually while writing on a four line book it would improve your handwriting. So let's practice on it. These are lines and strokes. 
So let's learn the first one. This is a standing line or a straight line or a vertical line. You started from the top up and you go down straight to the third line. Sleeping line. This is also called horizontal line. It starts from the left and goes to the right. This is slanting line. The right slanting line because it is slanting from the right side. You see the right on top? Yes. Slanted from there, go down to the left side. This is left slanting line. You started from top, left side and you go towards the right side to the third line, bottom. This is right curve. You start it on the right side in sense from the red color you go round curve it up on the right side and come back to the blue line this is left curve you start it on the red color line and curve it around by the left side and come to the third line blue color this is down curve you start it on the red line on top go straight down have a small curve and go up. This is up curve. You start it from the third line down and then go towards the red line on top. Take a small curve and come down to the blue line. This is a circle or O. You start from the red line, go round about and touch the same spot. This is a cone. It's a slanting line from the right and a slanting line from the left. It has a meeting place on the third line. Right? This is a zigzag line. It starts from the left, goes down as a slanting line, then goes up, touches the red color line and then comes down to the blue line. Again it goes up. It's a zigzag line. This is a double curve. It's curved on the right side. Remember the earlier curve that you have done? It start, this one starts from the red line. You curve it and you move to the first, second line. From the second, again you curve to the right side and then get it to the third line. This is a wave. You start it. And from the red line, go down, go slanting up, then again come down to the third line, again go up. It goes a wavy way. This is an open box. It's straight line, sleeping line, go up straight, then sleeping line, come down straight. Okay? That's it. These are few strokes. And parents, please put dots so that your children can trace over the dots. This will help them. As days go by, you need not have to continue with the dots. They would be expert by then. Give them a try. Thank you. God bless you.